Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a mood board using Pinterest and Canva. And a little background here, I'm making this mood board for my friend Jessica, who just moved from California to North Carolina for her job. And so we're trying to put together a design for her new apartment that she's going to be moving into in a few weeks here. So if you want to learn how to make a mood board for free, stay tuned for the rest of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more design and home decor projects. Now, let's get started. So the first step is to go on Pinterest. Um, I have the app here on my Mac, but you can also use your browser. And so the first thing we want to do is just kind of look for ideas for the room you are trying to decorate and make the mood board for. So for example, for her living room, we can just kind of type that in. And the first step is just to go on Pinterest and scroll through and really see what is the closest to your taste if you're designing it for your own space or if it's for somebody else, just kind of maybe talk to them and get a general idea of what they're looking for in their space as far as decor and functionality. So I've already kind of talked to my friend, I kind of know what she's looking for, uh, what vibe she's going for in her living room. And so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just kind of scrolling through Pinterest and anything that I see that is kind of close to what she's looking for, I'm going to go ahead and pin it in a board. Now you can see that I already have one created, um, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new board um, just to kind of show you guys um, how this would look like. So I'm going to create a new board and you can do this by room by room if you want to or you can just have them all together so we've already done this and we've kind of figured out she wants a more modern and clean look but also with a little bit of glam so we've already um, figured out a general mood board for her and we're gonna be designing her whole apartment from scratch since she didn't move any of her furniture and stuff from California so it's kind of nice to have that blank canvas to work with and so we don't have any furniture to um, account for in her new space. Otherwise, you can take pictures of your existing furniture and add those to your pins as well, to your pin board, to make sure that the new furniture that you're gonna buy kind of goes with what you already have. And so here is the mood board that we have already created. Um, there's 120 pins and this is kind of a general uh, mood board for both her living room, bedroom, and dining area. So you can see just like everything is together in here, like different rugs, different textures that we want to bring into this space. And so what she told me she wants to have in her space as far as the accent colors are purple and like a teal color and just keeping everything else gray and neutral. What I'm going to do right now, I'm just kind of scrolling through to see what uh, is not going to go with the vibe that we want in her space after talking about it. And so for example this one I know it's kind of not really with her style as much as some of these other pins of the living room. I know she doesn't really want to have like uh, warmer wood tones in her space so I can go ahead and delete this pin. So you can do this by deleting pins to refine your mood board or you can go ahead and create a new mood board off of this one. Again, so if you want to do that and just kind of keep your initial ideas, for example, you can go in here and save this specific pin that you really like into your new mood board. So that way you're not deleting um, your pins if you ever want to refer back to them. I think that's going to be a better uh, strategy. So you can always refer back to your initial thoughts. Okay, so once you have your mood board refined, um, you can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is kind of pulling pieces that you really like out of your refined mood board. So for example, for her living room, uh, we've already decided this is kind of um, the couch that she's gonna go for. So what you can do is go ahead and open this pin 
because in the next step we're going to go ahead and use Canva to actually put all of these items together so we can see how they go together. So I opened this mood board and we're going to save this image into our desktop so we can go ahead and upload that into Canva. So we're going to move on to the next step which is using Canva to put together our mood board. Canva is a platform that you can use for free to create many different uh, designs and so they have different templates on Canva and you can kind of use it for anything. I actually use Canva for my YouTube channel, uh, for making my intros and everything so this is a very handy tool for any kind of business that you're in if you're looking for a digital like design platform and you can use it for free they do have an upgraded pro canva plan that you would have to pay for but i personally don't use that and i just use the free version and it just has so much to offer so um for this we are going to again create a mood board so you can type it in and you can see that it pops up um for you with default size and they have many different templates like i said in here so you can really choose from any of these templates if you kind of don't know where to start from but uh, for me i'm going to just use a blank mood board so that's what i'm going to use but again you can use the different templates also if you have a specific digital size in mind and you don't want to just use this mood board um, size that Canva has in its platform, you can go ahead and do a custom size. The first step is to start uploading all the pictures that we've downloaded from Pinterest. Um, now you can go over here to the side to upload and you can see that I already have these in here. But um, to upload media, go ahead and click on that and then you can upload these from your device. So these are the ones I have downloaded. You can select them all or if you just want uh, one, you can go ahead and just select one. Once they're populated, if you click on it, it will automatically drag and be on your main uh, page that you're working on. You can resize it, obviously, and move them around. Now you can see here that when your pictures are not transparent, they come with like this white background or this one has like a, I don't know, gray kind of background. It kind of makes it hard to put together the mood board uh, really nice and neatly because it just it just has that background and so if i drag this on the couch for example i want to show this throw pillow it kind of looks weird with the background so there's a little tip here that you can use again this is for free if you are using a mac to remove the backgrounds from the pictures for example this couch has the white background and I want to get rid of it before I upload it into Canva. So you can open the picture and in your Mac and go over on this markup tool and come over here and select this tool and kind of click on the page and you see where it's red it starts kind of recognizing the borders between the object in your picture and the blank space. So once it's red, you can let go of your mouse and it's selected, you can hit delete and it's going to convert it to a file of PNG so you can have it as a transparent image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I am going to save this. So that's a little tip for you guys if you want to use it, especially if you have a Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these and um, I have already removed a bunch of backgrounds from the pictures that I want to use in this mood board. And so I'm going to go ahead and use those um, for the sake of this video. So this is the kind of couch we're going to use for her space. So I have that in here and um, we kind of want to keep it again neutral with the rug and the curtains. 
So I kind of picked this rug that has like a lighter gray color that's going to go with the couch. But it has a little bit of texture, so that's going to be really nice to bring in. And you can resize the picture as you just saw uh, me doing it to get rid of anything else if you don't want to remove the background. You can also use that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And um, this option over here, position, you can go ahead and move the pictures backwards or forward. So I'm going to go ahead and move this back so it looks like the couch is sitting on top of this rug. And for this one, I kind of want to place this uh, next to this couch to kind of create that conversation area, but the chair is facing the other way. So this is a quick little technique that you can use in Canva to flip your items. So if I flip this horizontally, now I have it facing the way I wanted it to be. Um, if it's something you want to flip the other way, you can, but obviously in this case, I'm not going to do that. I actually downloaded a picture of these um, textures from Google. I just put in black and white marble or purple and gold marble, you know, whatever. And if you bring that in here um, and go back to your elements, select this frame, and I'm gonna make it smaller, right? And drag this picture onto the frame. And you can see it that the frame it does what it says, it frames frames that picture or that texture for you. And so that's a really easy way to um, do that. So definitely try to use that feature. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and cleaned it up a little bit, made these the same size and kind of look neat. And I'm really happy with how this mood board is looking right now. And I think she's gonna like it, but in order for me to download this, I'm going to come up here and you can download this in different formats. Um, I guess you could do a video uh, or a PDF, but I'm just going to do a PNG uh, picture so I can send it to her and see what she thinks. And so Canva also saves your designs automatically. Uh, which is really cool. So you can go ahead and uh, rename it up here if you wanted to. So if I go back to the home page, I just want to show you guys real quick. If you go to all your designs, that's where um, all of your designs are going to automatically be saved. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, that is it for creating a mood board using Pinterest and Canva. You can use both for free. And that's just really awesome and you have this amazing um, mood board that you've created and you can always come back here and refer to it and change stuff down the line if you want to. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It looks really good and I think she's gonna like it. So make sure to leave in the comments if you have any questions on how to use Canva or any tips that you have on how to create a mood board. I would love to hear them. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video.